Okay, so this is the squareboard robot that I've built. It's just a fun little project, um, more about the cutting and learning how to cut with my laser cutter. Um, trying to design a simple little robot. Doesn't have much functionality in it, but this little guy can uh, be programmed. Uh, if you look inside there, you will see there's the Arduino Uno. And I've got an L298 motor controller and a 9 volt battery to drive the motors and everything else inside. Okay, so programming would go through this point here. That is where we connect the cable. If you look carefully, there's the USB cable connector. I also use this motors. Not the greatest motors. It's Palula motor, Bagger motors. It's not really something that I would use normally for my robots. But for this robot and what I built it for, it is just good enough. Um, the main purpose of this robot was to teach like great 6 and 7 learners how to build a robot first of all, how to connect it with, um, let's say how to connect all the electronics together. And also this little guy, I haven't put one on this specific one, but this little guy also have um, Bluetooth connection. So you can uh, connect it with a cell phone, we've created an app for it, or a tablet, and you can do remote control with it, which is basically the main reason why I, could, I built this robot. But one of the big tricks about this robot is to balance the motors, uh, because this is unregulated motors, you know, you, you don't have any um, big control over it, you need to use the program, uh, depending on which program you use, the IDE from uh, Arduino, or um, I'm using at this moment M-Block program for Arduino. Uh, so you can program this thing and try to get the robot to go as straight as possible, which is a little bit tri tricky. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I think I've zoomed out enough already. And I'm going to start this thing up and I'll show you the program afterwards what I've run. Um, at this moment, this is PWM5, this side is PWM6. Uh, this motor is a little bit weaker than that motor. And uh, at this moment, I've set this one for like 180 power and this one for 200. It sort of goes straight. I think um, you can probably get it a little bit more straight than that. But for the purposes of what I'm doing at the moment, this is good enough for me. So let's see how it goes when I... When I put it in a square, I've, I've programmed it to run in a square, so let's see what happens. Mm, put it down skew and that's what happened. Yeah. Mm, that was really put down badly. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Okay, I'm going to try this again and see if I can get a better result from it. So, let's see. Um, we probably need to align it a little bit better than I did the previous time to get it go a little bit straighter. Um, now there's a lot of things that influence this. One of the big things is the battery power. So at this moment I'm using a Duracell battery for this. So this thing is pretty fast. It's a little bit better. Not great, but it's better. There we go. And as you can see guys, it's all about how you put the thing down. If you don't put it down really good, oh man, yep, that's how it ended up. And I don't think uh, I need to try and get it a little bit better than that. That's good enough for me at the moment. Now I find that M blocks work with this robot way better than the other interfaces that I've tried out. Um, obviously you can do it with the Arduino IDE. If you like to do command line programming, that's fine by all means. So, the first thing we are going to do is, I'm going to add the Arduino Uno. There we go. We add it. Go, no problem at all. So, events. I'm going to do the win when the Arduino Uno starts up. Uh, I'd like to start, let's say, okay, let's go to the pins. Okay, I'm going to set my digital pins. Now pin 5 on this robot is on the left side motor and a pin 6 would be the right side motor. So I'm going to do pin 5 and 6 
the output pin 5 what we found or what i found previously was that at about 180 percent power for point, uh, pin 5 and 200 percent power for that one gives us a robot that sort of goes straight um, now remember guys i've created this robot to play robot soccer in a remote control game so uh, in our remote control program you can set the power to get the robot to go straight um, but it's not that uh, crucial for um, for the um, remote control to be perfectly straight it's more crucial when you start programming the robot to get it to go straight so that's the first thing let's do another one i'm going to controls get a weight command or proper weight command there and then um obviously i need to add some more things here let's go back to pins uh we set our digital pins i want to set my nine and eleven i believe nine and eleven set digital pin nine and set digital pin um I believe 10 and 12 is forward so if they are set high that would be forward if they are set low that will stop them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this I'll duplicate this program add it there um, and this is the way it's going to go forward 1.4 that's the distance how far it will go forward and then I'll set this to zero and zero to stop the motors Okay, so you go to low and low and that will stop the motor so this basically in effect is a forward command so what we are going to do is i'm really not in the mood to write the program that's about two meters long for this thing so i'm going to create my blocks for it but before i do that i want to set my turn also so i am going to get um let's say pwm digital pin six and I'm going to set the reverse turn, so that would be 6, and we know 6 is set at 200, so we'll just leave it at 200 for now. And I believe it would be, say, digital pin to 12, so that would be not 12, but let's see, 9 and 11, so I believe this would be 11. Set high, that will reverse the motor, so if you use... Pin 10 and 12 go forward, pin 9 and 11 go backwards. That's that's how it works. So, okie dokie. So, let's see. I'm also going to need, again, a weight command. How far I want to turn. And in this instance, uh, 0.6 seconds would be good enough. And then I'm going to do this. Duplicate this little guy. Put it out there. And again, I need to set this to 0. And I need to set this to low to stop the motor. So now I've got two commands going. I've got this one. That will work for us. And I'm going to take this one out now. Um, so this would be my turn. And this would be my forward. Now let's create the my block. So I'm going to my blocks. I want to move this thing up there. Uh, my block. My block. I'll call it forward. Um, yeah, you can call it forward one. But I'm going to add input numbers one two and three the first number number one we are going to input for uh p w m one uh sorry p w m five and the second one would be p wobble me m six and that number would be time right so that's the first that's our forward block and we are going to grab this block and put it in there and we can move this one out of the way there okie dokie so ooh, we've got forward pwm5 pwm6 so i'm going to grab this one put it in there grab this one put it in there and time put it in there now i've got variables that i can change and i can decide how far i want to drive forward how quickly i want to drive forward and i can balance my motors if i want to that's the first one so with the line forward now let's make another my block and we call it ref turn turn right reverse turn right in the reverse turn right i'm going to add two numbers the first number for reverse turn would be p w m six that's the power set uh yep the power setting for p w m six and then the time so power setting and time 
You can also, if you don't want to do PWM6, you can just put power. That would be fine also. It depends on how you want to do it. So I'm going to grab this thing, move that one out of the way, grab this one, put it in there. Now we've got this little guy going and again, power. We grab power, we put it in there, we grab time, we put it in there. And I guess that's all that I need to do with this thing to have my base commands going. Now to write the program would be pretty simple. So I would start with a forward. Actually, I don't want to start with a forward. I want to start with a wait. Just to start a thing, have it settle down a little and then start going. So remember what I said in our PWM forward. That's for five, which was 180. And for six, that was 200. And the time forward, 1.4 seconds. 1.4 seconds. We go forward. Then I'm going to use another wait command. And I'm going back and I'm going to use a reverse turn command. And the reverse turn would be for 200 and 0 0.6 seconds. 0 0.6 seconds. Okay, so that would go forward and turn, uh, do a reverse turn to the right. Now I'm going to, mm, you can do this. And, and I know some people will just change this. Okay, let's put it in a um, repeat block and re repeat everything. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that well when you work with robots because there's too many variables involved here to make it go really straight. So I prefer to do it individually like this. So I'm going forward, turn, forward, turn. And it means I am going to duplicate this one again. And then I've got all the commands that I need to go in a, in a square. So for a square, you've got eight steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight steps. And what I find is that these are okay. The first one, it turns enough. The second one, I'm going to up a little bit, 0 0.66. And that one, you're going to up a little bit, 0 0.66. And uh, that one, you're probably going to have to like make a little more like 0 0.7. And to get close to where you want to be, um, 1.5. Now, you are, sorry, 1.5, 1.5. You will see that some of these change a little bit. They, in an ideal world, when you drive in a square, everything is pretty much the same. But this is not an ideal world. So you've got to live with this to make the robot go. And this is precisely the program that I used to um, in the video to show you how it works. Okay, great. I'm a, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and what I had to show you about this little robot if you want to learn more about the robot or you want to uh, get the cutting list for the uh, chassis of the robot you can go to my website and uh, it is available there and there's a, a lot more information in uh, my blog posts also so have a nice day guys see you in the next video